Many of you may not be aware of this, but VLC is one of the greatest programs in the world. For I remember using it years ago back when I had to play FLV files. When you download YouTube videos, they would be in FLV format, and Windows Movie Player wouldn't do it without codecs or AVIs on top of that. And this... Uh, VLC media player was what I've always used and I got a portable version of it so even if you are at work or something you can still you know have it on a flash drive and play any videos that you want so this is highly highly alpha when you install it they say um, <coughs> they make you check a box saying I'm aware that this is highly pre-alpha software many things will not work or are simply missing and you check a box and agree to it so <laughs> it hasn't moved off to this screen. Come on. I can't click on it, and I'm stuttering. My God. Moving. So, so I'm guessing when it's done, it goes all the way to the right. So, I actually use uh, VLC. I've been using it since, like, I want to say December 2010. And it's awesome software. And I paid 40 bucks for, for an unlimited license to it. As you can tell, there's all my projects. Some of these, like Wi-Fi keyboard, headset, some of these I haven't done yet because I, I do videos that are more important, like uh, Titini Backup, Seek Joy, those were my highest priority ones. And so, yeah, I love this program. I used to use Windows Movie Maker, or Mo Windows Live Movie Maker 2011, and it kept crashing on me because this thing puts out dot m2 let me get some light this thing puts out dot to m2ts files and windows live movie maker 2011 was absolutely hating it it's been a good camera i just need a better one so yeah i just thought i'd do a quick little video on this it's like super alpha software, and Norton's telling me. The only reason I'm using Norton is because I have Comcast, and they give you the $120 uh, suit of software for free. So, it's like, whatever. It's better than using a free version of something. But anyways, I am out.